So today is graduation day. I'm about to cry. I can't believe this day is here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very, very, very special to me because as you can see, I'm graduating today. I cannot believe this day is finally here. Hallelujah. I went ahead and did this makeup look for my graduation. So if you guys would like to see how to get this look right here, then please keep watching. Excuse the hair, it's a hot mess, but we're gonna go ahead and fix that once we're done with the makeup. So I've already uh, done my eyebrows, I've primed my eyelids. So we're gonna keep the eyes very fresh, very clean, not too much going on because it is graduation. And we wanna keep it a little simple, it's not a makeup show. So I'm starting out by grabbing Saddle by MAC and with a big fluffy brush, I'm gonna go ahead and just put that all over my crease and I'm just focusing that on the upper part of my crease area just to give it some warmth to the eyes and I'm dragging it out. So after that, I'm gonna grab the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette and I'm grabbing this shade right here, Saffron. And with a more defined brush, I'm grabbing the MAC 217. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my crease area. I'm just grabbing a little bit, I just want some dimension. And then I'm placing the brush this way. That way I can really get into the crease and I don't really wanna to touch my eyelids so much with this color. And again, I am dragging it out. I'm going back in with the fluffy brush and then just blending those two shades together. I can't believe you guys, this day has finally come. I'm sitting here doing my makeup for graduation. Let me just give you guys a timeline of my struggle with school. So I graduated high school at 16. I'm graduating college at 24. If you add that up, that's about seven years that it took me to get this bachelor's degree. But let me tell you guys why. As soon as I got done with high school, I wanted to go to fashion school. So I went to a school out here. It's called IADT in, in Vegas, in Nevada. I was there for about three months and then I left. It was so expensive. If you guys go to art school, you'll know how expensive art school is. Not worth it. We paid six thousand dollars for three months and i had to be there for what four years or two years or whatever it is to get your um degree from there so i left i'm like no way and after that i was like okay i'm moving to california because california is where it's at i really wanted to do like fit em or art institute or like something out there actually i think in california there was some community colleges that offered like fashion classes so i'm like okay i'm moving to cali so i got my California ID, went out there, traveled so many times, picked to school, everything. And I was still like hesitant because I know I'm like, I'm moving out there alone. You know, it's gonna be super expensive. While I was getting ready, I got a job. I think I was like 18 at this point. I got a job at a bank and I'm like, oh my God, a bank job. This is a great opportunity. I'm making this amount of money at the age of 18. I love it. So I got that job and basically got stuck in Nevada for five years. I stayed working at that job for five years. And during that time, I went to a community college, uh, got my associates from there. Keep in mind, while I was doing that, I was working 40 hours a week at this bank job. So I was working full time while still trying to juggle school. And then I did surgery for my foot. I did three surgeries. I had to be on a wheelchair and crutches. It was such a struggle. So I missed a semester from that and you know, when I got my job, I had to do mandatory training for six weeks. So that uh, lagged the process as well. I couldn't, I missed another semester. After that, I quit my job and I went to UNLV, the university that I'm graduating from right now. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I need this out of the way. So I took six classes last semester. I took two summer classes and six classes this semester to just graduate by now before I reach 25. <laughs> But you know, I don't regret anything because luckily now I'm at a point where since I've 
already gained experience from corporate. I was able to save up and open my own business. And now that I'm graduating, I'm at a point where I don't have to work for anyone else. I'm able to work for my own. It took me a little while to graduate, uh, but I'm really thankful for how it all worked out because I know what I want now um, after college. Don't feel too pressured that you have to, you know, do things by the way the society says. Honestly, do what's best for you and everybody's plan in life is different. If you're trying to find a nine to five job and work for corporate and whatnot, then great. You know, you might have to go to school and do that. But I honestly, from what I'm doing now, I don't really need school. But I was just so, I already wasted so many years in there. Education never goes to waste. So I'm like, let me just get this out of the way and then move on with my life and do all the things that I want to do. So that was my journey with school. So you know I am ready to get this out of the way. All right, so I'm going back in with saddle and just deepening the brown and blending it in with the reddish shadow that I put in. I'm then going to grab the Tartiste Pro palette and I'm going to grab this shade right here called Glam and I'm putting that all over my lid. I just want this very soft, I don't want any dark darkness on my eyes. Spraying it with some setting spray and I'm going to go ahead and pick that up and put that all over my lid. And I am going to drag that to my inner corners as well. I'm grabbing the shade Classic right here. It's like um, a beige white and then I don't want it to be too shimmery. So about halfway from my inner corner to the middle of the eye, I'm kind of just placing that on top to make it a little bit more subtle. I'm gonna then go back in with the 217 brush and a little bit more of that saffron color, the reddish color, and then just blend that into my crease. And then back with the biggest fluffy brush with the one that I first went in with, no product, I'm gonna go ahead and just blend everything out very nicely. I'm gonna then go ahead and grab a very thin brush and with the color Classic, I'm putting that all over my brow bone. With the glam color that I put on my eyelids, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it at the highest point of my brow bone. And then grabbing that and putting it in the inner corner. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some wipes and curve out my eyes just a little bit, clean off any excess. So I always like doing my lashes first before applying any eyeliner. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes, apply a coat of mascara, put some lashes on and see how the eye looks and see if I need to add any eyeliner and how thick I need the eyeliner to be. So for lashes, I'm gonna use these lashes by Killa Beauty called Josie. Okay, so while my lashes are drying up, I'm gonna move on to my face before I finish my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Hydrating Oil by Anastasia and then just put that on my face. If you do have oily skin, you might wanna skip this step, but this will help keep your skin hydrated and help with that dewy look. So you know graduation day, it is three hours that you gotta wait for the ceremony. So you definitely wanna prime the face. I'm using the Photo Finish Smashbox Foundation Primer. And I'm going to go ahead and just place that in the areas that I want blurred out as well as primed. We're going to set the face first with some setting spray. I love this stuff. I'm going to first start by applying a shimmering skin perfecter. This is kind of like an illuminator. This is the Becca one. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it in the areas that you normally highlight before I put my foundation on. So just here here, a little bit here, down the nose, and the chin area. This is just going to give it a nice glow to the skin. I'm then going to move on to my foundation. I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. And then just with my Beauty Blender, I'm going to go ahead and apply about three pumps of that. And then just dot it onto my skin and blend it out. So you guys know how I've been struggling with scarring forever. 
I've tried, I've been doing these uh, hyalur hyaluronic acid, I believe is what they're called for my scars. So they literally inject on each scar hyaluronic acid. We've been trying like so many, I've tried everything in the books. At this point, I'm willing to try anything. So yeah, if you see little bruiseness and bumps and stuff, it's from the injections that they put in. It's supposed to like help with your um, collagen or something, so we'll see. I mean, I've literally tried everything. I've tried Fraxel laser, I've tried microneedling, I've tried vampire facial, um, what else? Microblading, or I think is what it's called. It definitely got better, but it's still there. And one thing for those that have scars that I want to let you guys know, you know, it sucks that I have to say this, but it's never going to go away 100%. But what you could do is just continue treating them. Just think of it as a routine that you're just going to have to do for the rest of your life, unfortunately. Scarring is very, very hard to get rid of. And you can only try to minimize them as much as possible, but they're just never going to go away 100%. So what I love about this foundation, it's that it's buildable and it's very lightweight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build that up. All right, next I'm grabbing my Age Rewind Concealer. This is the Brightening Illuminator. And I'm only placing this right around here. It has a pink undertone, so that will cancel out any blackness. Blending that out with my Beauty Blender just a little bit. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go in with my Shape Tape by Tarte. I'm in the shade light medium, and then just put that on top. I'm almost out of the Laura Mercier. Like it seems like there's a lot in there, but like not nothing comes out. Let's see, okay, that helped. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go over the Beauty Blender one more time, make sure there isn't any creases, and immediately set. Before we bronze up the face, I'm gonna move on to finishing my eyes. So what I'm gonna do at this point is grab my eyeliner, and I don't really wanna do any winged liner, but I just wanna draw a very thin line where my lashes are. So I'm just stopping it right where the lash ends. I'm not taking it out like you normally do with a winged liner. So after the eyeliner is on, I'm gonna go back in with my mascara and then just put a little bit on my natural lashes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the roots of my natural lashes. And I just want them a little bit tacky so I could squeeze them in and connect it with my falsies. I'm moving on to my lower lash line. I'm going to grab this shade right here called Amber and put that all over my lower lash line with the 217 brush. I'm going to go back in with Glam, the color that I put on my lids and just intensify my inner corner with it. I'm then going to go ahead and grab a white liner and place that on my waterline. I mean in my waterline. <laughs> Can't make any grammatical errors now that I'm a college graduate. Every time I have like an error in my vocabulary or in my grammar, I'm like, I'm foreign, okay? English is not my first language. That's always my excuse, even though I've lived in the States for about 10 years now, so I can't even use that as an excuse anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and use a waterproof mascara for my lower lashes, especially since it's gonna be a long day, it's gonna be hot, you don't want your makeup to be all over the place so I use waterproof that way if it's getting humid or whatnot it's not going to transfer over to my under eyes all right so let's go ahead and bronze up the face because this is graduation I'm not trying to do extra glam like cut the cheekbone kind of look I want this soft so I'm gonna go ahead and blend those three shades to warm up the face with my contour kit My hair is getting messier and messier, but we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So with this shade right here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab an angled brush and contour my nose. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this shade right here as well and place it on top. I feel like the other one was a little too cool toned for my skin. 
So for blush, I'm grabbing the Milani Baked Blush in the color Luminoso, that's 05. With an angled Morphe brush, I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my cheeks. For highlighter, I'm grabbing the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight, and I'm just gonna go ahead and place that in the bridge of my nose. My Cupid's bow, place a little bit here. Always drink water first before you put your lipstick on. For lips, I'm grabbing Spice by MAC and placing that all over my lips. On top of it, I'm going to put Abu Dhabi by NYX. Oh, I love this stuff. This is the final makeup look right here. All right, so my hair is a mess. Let me just warn you guys. I took a shower and tied it in a bun while it's wet. So when I do that, my hair is not as curly, which is fine because for today, what we're gonna do is brush it out. So it's gonna be very, very frizzy, as you guys know, when you brush curly hair out. Let me find my brush. So if you have curly hair, you know the struggle of you can't really brush it except when it's like super wet when you first get out of the shower because if you brush it it's gonna be poofy as we're gonna witness in just a few seconds but the reason why i am doing this is because i'm gonna curl my hair and i'm gonna curl it on top of my natural hair so usually when i with curly hair if you're trying to like curl it with a wand or a curling iron you have to blow dry it first or straighten it first and then curl what i sometimes like to do is to just brush it out like i am now and then just curl it on top of my natural hair and only straighten like the roots so those look smooth if you do it that way and you curl it just on top of your natural uh, wave your hair is gonna have much more volume and it's gonna stay curlier much longer because if you straighten it and then you curl it at least for me my hair gets flat like within a few hours or the next day but when I do it on top of my natural um, hair it gives it much more volume because as you can see <laughs> oh my god all right so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my straightener and I'm gonna go ahead and just basically straighten the roots of my hair so that way I don't have any curls here because I don't want that to be curled so just about here I know you guys are gonna be like what the hell is she doing to her hair but this will all make sense once it's done all right, so before I curl my hair, I'm gonna grab some argan oil and put that on the ends of my hair to tame the frizziness a bit. So I'm starting at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and split a section of my hair and just clip that up. I believe, I don't even know how many inches this is, but it's either two inches or an inch and a half, but it's pretty wide. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start working that around. So I'm doing some sections inwards and some section outwards. So they're just that soft wave. I'm not using the clamp. I am just twisting that around the wand. I'm just kind of touching my finger with the hair. Once I feel like that hair is getting hot, that's when I know that I can ready to let go. Since I'm using big sections, I am keeping it for a while. For this piece, I'm going to go ahead and do it inwards. Okay, so you gotta keep in mind that you're gonna have a cap on. And for the front section of my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and curl the hair away from my face. 
All right, I know it looks cuckoo right now, but I don't want to touch it while it's still hot. So I'm going to let it cool down. I'm going to change into my dress and I'll be right back to finish off the hair. Okay, so now that my hair has cooled a little bit, I'm going to grab some more of the argan oil and run that through my hair. I'm going to first put my cap on. You guys can add some bobby pins if you feel like you're going to need it. And I'm then going to go ahead and split my hair and go over it one more time with the curling wand. Sometimes it's hard to tell you so. So that's it you guys, this is the final look. If you are graduating this year, congratulations. You should be very, very proud of yourself. Enjoy it, go on a vacation, take some time off, do whatever you have to do because you worked so hard for it and you should be so proud of yourself. And if you are in school and you're almost graduating or you're working on that degree, don't give up, it will be worth it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video getting ready for my graduation. I'm gonna get going now to try to get this degree out of the way and I'll see you guys in my next video when I'm officially a college graduate. <laughs> All right guys, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.